What I care about is the truth. In fact, I went to the Purdue turf field day last week, two weeks ago, and Dr. Bigelow had an iron demonstration out there and had a lot of these products out there, including ironite, right next to untreated bluegrass and right next to untreated tall fescue. And there's not a lick of difference. <laughs> there's not a lick of difference. Three pounds of, of ironite right next to doing nothing. And they look the exact same. So, <laughs> yeah, I just get a kick out of why people are so obsessed with ironite. There's nothing unique about ironite other than it has a lot of material in there that is useless. Maybe a lot more percentage of that product is useless than the average fertilizer. Magnetic rock right there. Magnetic rock. That's magnetite. They're put, and that, that's an even more insoluble form of iron oxide than typical iron oxide. And that's what they're putting in there. They're not putting in more valuable, more agronomically valuable iron sources. They're putting in cheaper iron sources to save a buck and keep selling it for the same price. It's not going to do a lick of thing, lick of different. Not, nothing's going to happen in terms of greening by putting out that form of iron. Magnetic rock. It's absolute madness. If it says iron EDTA, iron DTPA, or iron EDDHA, then you may have something. If it says anything other than that, the iron in that bag is useless agronomically. It's not useful at all. There's other components that can result in a turf greening, but not the iron unless it's one of those three chelated forms. But you're not getting anything from the iron full stop. It's wishful thinking.